Today's video is based off of the request that several viewers had. They wanted tips on how to dress more feminine. We came up with such a huge list that we're only able to share half of them with you today. So if you would like for us to create a part two, leave a comment down below for us and we will get that done. If you have been with us for a while, then you know we're going to share a lot of images with you today. Please bear in mind, Kelly and I, we do try our best to share a diverse group of women from ages, races, ethnicities, body shapes and sizes, However, unfortunately, we are limited to what is available on the internet. Yes, so this one is right up our alley. We both love feminine looks and femininity really can be a part of any look. It's really about those little details. So whether you are into the classics, whether you like some trendier fashion, Femininity is just little details that you may enjoy adding to a look to just make you feel a little bit pretty and sexy, and we love these ideas. If this is something that you are interested in, we do videos twice a week every Sunday and Thursday all about fashion. So we cover tips and tricks and lookbooks and hacks and all kinds of good content. So if you are new here, I'm Kelly, this is my best friend Christina, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. We would love to have you back for more. A great little detail to add to an outfit to help you dress more feminine is something that has bows. So this can be incorporated in your outfit in a number of ways. You can have bows at the end of your sleeves, like on this top. Also, there are some beautiful blouses where you have a bow on the neckline. You can also find bows in your accessories, so whether that's on a shoe or on a handbag. So bows in general, I think, are just definitely synonymous with things that are girly and frilly and feminine. And when you incorporate that little detail into your outfit, it definitely will give you a much more feminine vibe and style. Another beautiful feminine detail that you can add to an outfit is ruffles. So ruffles are something that you see a lot in dresses. So for example, you can have some tiered ruffles at the bottom of your hemline. You can also see some ruffles around the top of a dress, maybe a little off the shoulder, ruffling or ruffling around the neckline. You can also have some ruffling at the sleeves. We've even seen some ruffles in some blouses as well in all of those different areas. And even in some wrap dresses where you have some ruffling that goes across the body and into the the hemline so it's just a beautiful feminine detail that can really just create this very soft and girly vibe to a look and we absolutely love it another detail that is so feminine to add to an outfit is looking for pieces that have lace so lace in general is a very soft and delicate and feminine texture to have on a piece of clothing so you can have lace in something as simple as a camisole that has a lace neckline. You can also have lace that maybe is on the sleeve. There's also some lace overlay that you can find, whether it be on a dress or on a skirt. So by incorporating a little bit of this detail, it definitely instantly will add that feminine touch that you're wanting to add to your style. Florals are one of my favorite ways to add this delicate, soft, womanly look to an outfit. I absolutely love them. So florals can really be in, done in just a variety of ways, whether it's through a beautiful floral dress, you can have a blouse with some florals on them, you can have a mini skirt, a midi skirt, a maxi skirt. I even love to see florals in a handbag or even sometimes in a shoe. There are so many ways that you can incorporate them and really they are just the essence of femininity. So I love my florals. A great color to wear if you want to dress more feminine is the color pink. So the great thing about the color pink is that there's a wide range in the color pink. So you can do everything from very soft, like pastel color pink to an even like darker, like blush type of pink to an even a bubblegum pink. So when we all think of pink, we think of things that are very girly and feminine. So when you are styling an outfit and you incorporate that color, you're going to instantly create a more feminine look. So that can be everything from a pink top to a pink dress to a pink skirt. You can even add just touches of pink to an outfit either in your accessory, whether it be in a bag or in a shoe. So this is just a great color if you are looking for a more feminine style. 
The next element that can really add to the gracefulness of an outfit is smocking. So smocking can be found either in the waistline of a dress or a shirt or even at the sleeves. And the smocked detail, it really does a couple of things. First of all, it creates a very like refined look to an outfit. Definitely reminds me of that romantic period. It also can really help to define the waistline of a blouse or even a dress, which is also very feminine as well well as your wrist, which are another very feminine part of the body. So these elements of smocking really give you that graceful, gentle, very refined, romantic look. And of course, that makes you look and feel very feminine. One of my favorite ways to dress more feminine is by picking up pieces that have eyelet details. So I absolutely love this detail. I do think it really adds just a soft, gentle feel to a piece of clothing. So this can be everything from a little bit of eyelet that happens to be on a sleeve. You can also have eyelet that's an overlay on a top or even just an entire uh, like dress that has eyelets all the way running down to the hemline. So this specific detail is one that is very unique to clothing that only women wear, hence the reason why it's a very feminine style and detail to add when you want to dress more girly. This next one is one of my personal favorites, and that is pearls. This can be anything from pearl jewelry to pearl embellishments. And not only are pearls really soft and feminine, but they are so on trend, so hot for spring and summer. So this is a one that you are definitely going to want to incorporate if you're looking for a more feminine look. So pearls can be found in anything from a necklace, like the one I'm wearing, or a cute pair of earrings, obviously a cute pearl rings, but they can also be found in some details. For example, we have shared with you guys some sneakers that incorporate some pearls as well as some sandals with pearl details. I even have a sweater with some pearl detailing. Pearls are seen everywhere right now in handbags and they're just such a fun and girly way to really dress and feel more feminine. There are also some great fabrics that you'll want to incorporate in your wardrobe for this style. So anything that has like a silk, a satin, even a chiffon type of fabric is a great one to wear. They're very light and airy and it adds a touch of delicate and softness to an outfit. So these are things that you can find in tops and skirts, in dresses, and all of those pieces in general tend to also be very feminine. So when you also add this fabric on top of it, it just adds for a very delicate and soft and refined look. It's hard to argue that any piece of clothing would be more feminine than a dress or a skirt. I mean, they really are the definition of womanly feminine clothing items. So flowy dresses and skirts are a great option if you are looking for this style. That can be anything from a midi skirt or dress to a maxi skirt or dress to even a shorter one, maybe to the knee or a little shorter in a mini style, but really just something that has that little soft flowiness to the bottom of the dress or skirt is just so beautiful and feminine. And when you think about just spinning around in it and watching it twirl, I mean, really, that's just the definition of girly. Highlighting your shoulders is another great way to dress more feminine, and this can be done in a number of ways. You can either have a top or a dress that is showing one shoulder, or you might have a top that is um, bearing both shoulders. You can even wear a strapless type of dress um, that can be very uh, feminine. Also spaghetti straps or halter straps, just showing and bringing attention to the shoulders, especially to the neckline and to the collarbone is a very delicate and feminine part of the body and another way that you can incorporate this feminine style into your wardrobe. Another style that is currently very on trend and just also happens to be keeping with this feminine theme is puff shoulders. So puff shoulders really are very romantic and fun. They can be seen in a variety of ways. So we have been seeing a lot of sweaters and cardigans with this little detail of a puff shoulder, even to some more exaggerated blouses and tops that have a bigger style puff shoulder. The puff shoulder that you choose really depends on your body type, whether or not you're more broad shouldered or smaller shouldered. It really is up to you what flatters you best. But this this little detail of the puff shoulder is really going to help you look and feel feminine. 
Okay ladies, so if you loved these feminine tips and you would like to see some actual outfit ideas of using these tips and tricks, guess what? You're in luck because we are coming at you with a haul next week all sharing some great beautiful feminine pieces that you are going to love. So stay tuned, make sure you check that out.